Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're going to the Yaz Marina Circuit. Um, well, actually, we already went to the Yaz Marina Circuit. I bought a shirt. Um, I just forgot to open the vlog, so we're gonna pretend like it's the morning. We're going to the Yaz Marina Circuit. Um, <laughs> where we're gonna, we're gonna go see Yaz, see some of the people we saw when we were driving. Go um, take a bus around the circuit, you know, and then we're going to the Louvre, but the Louvre in Abu Dhabi. Um, it's actually where we are right now, but like I said, we're pretending it's morning and pretend I'm in a hotel room. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what we're doing. We're also going to a mosque, the Grand Mosque, later today, which I have a jacket in the car for because you're not supposed to. You're supposed to be very well covered. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go look at some pretty art then somewhere in there. We're grabbing lunch, too So let's uh, let's get right into this video and again, please Don't forget if you like the video to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. All right guys Let's get into the video the circuit track we're staying over the circuit I am excited I am gonna find whatever part of the hotel is over the circuit and I'm gonna park myself there at one point and try to watch the cars go by thank you Hot and it's sandy. I don't know. Sandy, yeah. <laughs> Any random guesses? 
At least you guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes some of the races, yes, we figure that out. Uh, it's the same as you said. Uh, but if F1 can happen, then anything can happen. The only reason is, I'll tell you, because there is a hotel that is on top of the track. Oh. And if we have a 24 hour endurance race, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what did I, what did I, I think of that? Said, <laughs> as I just said, the people are there to take comfort. Not yeah. To I was wondering about that. And, uh, and, we, and we told his secretary that, tell his designers that uh, people actually want to hear our cars. Yeah, oh, right. yeah was, so, uh, we uh, in uh, But yeah, there were two options. Either do a 12 hour endurance race or either reduce the noise levels of the cars. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. So we said, no, 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 nearly 7.2 kilometers, and it is, uh, it can hold a grid of more than 100 cars for an endurance race, it's all good. This is one of the Italian cars I like, this is the other one which I hated, but it's here, uh, and we're testing, <laughs> <laughs> we're testing it, we're testing it, and let me tell you that, hello, yay, crew. And uh, when I tried it, it feels like it's a lightweight coupe. It is nicely engineered, it's not bad. Uh, but the first opinion I give you about the car was my personal opinion. It has nothing to do with the Aston Martin yeah? <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Aston Martin uh, GT4 Vantage V8. Uh, and that's the race control checking the track and looking a little bit sad. Uh, Aston Martin Vantage. It's a hand-built British race car. We have a nice history in the Marine Circuit with Aston Martin because our first endurance race, we entered with Aston Martin GT4 N24, and that car won a 12-hour endurance race. And then FIA made a rule that if you're a racing instructor on that track, you are not allowed to race on that track <laughs> because you have additional hours of practice on that track for free. Yeah. Which makes sense, and uh, from that day I'm doing tours. <laughs> right, so this car is 4 litre V8 bi turbo and the engine was developed in Germany by AMG in Afalzenbach. The engine has uh, two turbos on the top, twin scroll turbos. These are hybrid turbos which are using engine oil and a little bit of coolant water to cool down the turbos. So the engine and turbo, the temperature remains the same. This is what engineers say, but when we tested it, it was not the same. So we tried the temperature there. The difference was only 180 degrees Celsius. <laughs> so <laughs> only. not really <laughs> what they said was right. But anyway, it didn't break down. So that was what matters. going out of the corner. You have a zigzag, a slalom, and then you go straight. You're turning a little bit, the car slides up. You'll be like, oh my god, what happened? And it will just turn around and stop. That's why we have it here. Because it puts a smile on people's faces. It has not been any races or whatsoever, but it is a good car to race on the track. That's it. Some young people call it a bumblebee, thanks to Transformers movie. Uh, well, it doesn't go in the corners very quickly, I'll be very honest about it. Uh, the car was not really made to conquer Nürburgring North Life, but the car is a 6.2 litre V8 engine, and uh, this car is here for drifting. So what we do is, if you want to go on the track as a passenger, 
the Zakar for you, and it's one of the cheapest experiences as a passenger on our track. Um, all we do is just burn tires, make a lot of noise, and uh, just for putting a smile on people's faces, that's, that's pretty much it. And tear in their uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Well, the smile is once you come out of the car, but not while you're in the car. Sometimes it's a bit terrifying. I'll tell you why. Uh, you have seen it on the track anyway. Right. So yeah. <laughs> I, We did it in New Zealand. You did it in New, New Zealand. Zealand. We went to a nurse <laughs> academy. Yeah, and we yeah. learned to drift <laughs> and we went in the taxi. It was terrifying. <laughs> so. I screamed for the entire thing. There you go. Uh, that's why we You have another look at it. I would love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this car has no handbrake. They're not allowed to use a handbrake because it has an automatic gearbox. An automatic gearbox, you pull a handbrake, the car thinks you go to zero speed and kicks you in in the first gear again. It doesn't work. So what we have to do is Scandinavian way, Scandinavian flick, just like a rally drivers. You're going fast, full brake throw all the way to the front, turn right to the left, and then car slides out and full gas. So that means we are approaching the corner very quickly, uh, hoping that it will go through the corner because it's an American car. <laughs> uh, you have a big highway, so you go to interstate, right? So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, it was mainly made for a straight lines, not really, you know, yeah. But uh, anyway, our safety car is also a Camaro SS and Z uh, Z01. So, uh, because um, you got them for free. Why not? Slow down the pack, so, sorry? Slow down the pack, because you know I can't turn. Yeah, yeah, but well, uh, you, you, you have to really go slowly. Uh, you've seen some videos of Mustangs, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there you go. That's a thing. I'm not talk good about it. So, uh, that's the world we live in. Now we'll go to North Grandstand and I'll show you the corner where Max Verstappen overtook Lewis Hamilton. Even my manager told me not to say that. But yeah, it's no fun if I don't say that. Please follow me. Yep, this is the corner. Seats are dirty, please don't sit here. So the track was launched in 2009. The first weekend for the race was the Formula One Grand Prix 2009. Designer of our track, his name is Hanan Tilke, he's from Germany. He has designed a track in Bahrain before us. And after us, it was India, Russia, Baku, well, everywhere else, let's say. Why everywhere else? Why he is the only one designing everything? Because he was a racing driver in GT Racing. Secondly, he was also a race official from Empire. Thirdly, he's a good businessman and architect. Or uh, I should reverse the order. He's a good businessman. That's it. So, uh, <laughs> so he's always required to design these tracks and stuff. He knows how tracks can make money and also how there will be more competition. But he forgot that while making Yas Marina Circuit in 2009. That's why we have to change the track's layout. Our track was having 21 turns. It was 5.554 kilometers, whereas now it has only 16 turns and it has 5.238 kilometers. It is a fast track now and DRS activation zone is Actually, where there is a blue hole, where, uh, where Max Verstappen opened up the steering wheel a little bit, just to, uh, just to say hi to them. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the place we're talking about. Now, there are three things we have done differently. First thing, we don't have any race control tower. We have a race control room and 44 of those cameras around our track. So if you have seen a tower over here, that tower is for a different purpose. And we'll talk about it once we have a visuals on that tower. 480 bicycles, 82 bicycles. I was going to say 506, but um, um, some people they mistakenly put them in their cars. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so this car here, these are the bicycles. They are sanitized and ready to go on the track. Um, it is for free. You don't have to pay anything. I know when you're a tourist, you don't 
travel with your bicycle and let's say you're like uh, one of my friends, he tries to show off that he's a health freak and all that. But, um, but yeah, bicycles are provided and uh, the kind of a bicycle you need is provided. So. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to the paddock of Formula 1 and uh, to your right hand side you'll see the paddock entrance uh, of right like mid on the front. Um, that's the paddock entrance and you'll see one one horse calligraphy drawing or uh, art over there. Uh, I said drawing in front of all the it was not very happy about it. Anyway, so it is an art. Every garage is air conditioned. Every garage has their own electricity distribution box, one TV, one toilet, and all the basic amenities which is needed by the people working in the garage. The distribution of the garages for Formula One is as per the points of that team. So if the team has most points, two drivers combined with constructors, they will go to the first few garages. The allotment of the garages starts from garage number four. So Petronas was having four, five, six, seven, half garages. Now the thing is, each team uses three and a half garages. Because we have 40, if we give one team three garages, we'll just fill 30 garages. You know, it's pretty straightforward. We have 10 teams. So, uh, so that's how it works. Um, I'll open the garage door. There is a pit lane outside. It's the main pit lane. There might be some trucks. There might be some forklifts going around. Please take care of yourself. These guys are not expecting us to be there. And we don't have any high visibility jacket. So let me have a look first. Just see something amazing over here. That's oh. a consistent scary. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the teams are now fixing their stuff and uh, is, anyone knows uh, about uh, MotoGP? Yeah, anyone follows MotoGP? Everyone knows about Valentino Rossi? No. Yep, he will be racing this weekend as well in his Ferrari. So he will be having one of those garages. He still has the same number, 46. So if you see any car with a 46 number, it will be his car. And he's still using the same livery, which is the color. Roger that, that was the best news I've heard today. I was talking to race control and uh, security to allow the bus on the track. Uh, it never happens a lot of time. But I told them that the reason I'm telling that is because you have no cars on the track and it's subject to availability as per my you know, uh, understanding. They told me, no, you're not allowed to go on the track because the track is high for the cars and this and that. And then they remember, oh, he's, he has a FIA license so he knows about the rules. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen we, and honestly if you don't if you don't i'm keeping it with me today because i know when i saw in the morning it was raining i'll keep my license with me and i'll go on the track so it was my plan from from a while so we'll go first to the um, uh, the podium and then we'll go to the track Okay, the car is going to be a little bit wet, so I'm, uh, I think we're all right. So we will go in batches onto the uh, podium area because it's very snug over there. So if you're a family, if you come to you, your members can join, others can wait on the right hand side. So you can carry on this way. Others can wait on the right hand side when you're done with your photos. Please go round and come back from the podium stack. <laughs> and also I'm not driving. That's the most killer. So uh, 
You're okay to go. Mm -hmm. You can support each other both. Of you. <laughs> do this standing on the start line at the Yaz Marina circuit not very often this is a special dude this is this is the this is like we're on the start line that's pole right there gotta close it that's the light this is we're on the fucking start finish street dude <laughs> <laughs>
Shakib, you lied to me. You said he was floating. It's supported by pillars, man. Shakib is not paying attention to you. I know he's not. Shakib, you said that was floating. It's, it's supported by pillars, man. It's not in the water. I want to see it floating like this.
That's where we had lunch. It was beautiful. Nice food. A mixture of everything. Indian, Arabic, Italian, you name it. It was wonderful. And now we're going to the mosque. Video. Inside. 